Hello guys and welcome to this Notebook LM prompt tutorial where we'll be showing you how to prompt on a Notebook LM. If you're a first timer for Notebook LM, you can go over to your browser notebooklm.google.com and you will see this pop-up page which is a welcome note that says welcome to Notebook LM. And it has some information here and if you'd like to be updated with Notebook LM from Google to receive email notifications, you can click on the checkbox right here and click on OK. Now, this is the first thing you will be seeing on Notebook LM, and you have some information to help you. It says, create your first notebook, and it says, Notebook LM is an AI-powered research and writing assistant that works best with resources you upload. You can also convert complex materials into easy-to-understand formats, such as FAQs or briefing docs. And then you also have the option to add key resources to a notebook and share with your organization to create a group or knowledge base. Now, at the bottom right here, you have the option to create or try an example notebook. Now, just for this tutorial, we'll be going ahead with try an example notebook. So in this page, you can see it's divided into three main aspects. The first column is sources and the second is chat and the third is studio. Now, from the first column, which is sources, after looking at this for a few seconds, you can see that this sample is about introduction into Notebook LM, such as getting started with Notebook LM, Notebook LM features, Notebook LM glossary. It's basically giving us a starter for Notebook LM, which is a nice way to start using it if this is your first time. So moving over to the chat, I can simply start asking a question. So I just said, what is Notebook LM about? And I'm going to click on the send icon and wait for it to respond. And it has this long response based on my question. And it says, Notebook LM is designed to help people understand complex information and all the rest of this information, which we're not going to read right now. And then it also has suggestions based on the sources that have been provided. For example, it says, what source types does Notebook LM support? And then we have the next icon here to see the next questions. So we're going to click on this to get an answer. And basically, Notebook LM will be getting the response for this question from the sources which we provided right here. And it provides some answers for us right here. And then when you come down to the start typing area again and click on next, it says what sharing options exist for Notebook LM notebooks. When we click on it, you can expect the same thing to happen, which is to provide a response. Now, if this is not enough for you, you can go over to the studio and load a conversation which will be based on all the sources which we've provided right here. And now I'd like to show you how to prompt on Notebook LM. To navigate to the beginning, we're going to be clicking on the Notebook LM icon at the top left corner. And you can see the first one, and then you're going to find this page. Here you can click on Create New. So here we get to upload sources by choosing a file to upload. At the bottom here, you can upload files from Google Drive, or you could use a link or paste to text. We're going to be using paste to text, click on copy text, and then here we're going to paste in a text prompt for Notebook LM. So here we have an example, analyze virtual reality in training for surgeons. So basically we're using the formula of analyze a subject in a setting. And this is the subject virtual reality in the setting of training for surgeons. And we have some reminders here, key historical cases and modern applications, scientific validity and methodologies, notable practitioners and their contributions, ethical and legal considerations, and documented outcomes and success rates. So all of these subpoints are important to us. And we've also mentioned the format, such as we need a brief overview, notable cases, current practices, and future implications. And because we want verified information, we just put in this reminder, focus on verified sources. We're going to click on insert. And here you can see pasted text. And then we have under chat, virtual reality in surgical training. So with this prompt, we're able to ask any question in this field. So for example, we have this suggestion here, and if we click on the next, we can see some other questions here. We can click on the first one and it says, what are the historical roots and future prospect of VR in surgical training? And here we have a response. So by our piece of text, using the formula of providing a subject in a setting and our preferences, we've been able to get a prompt on Notebook LM. You can decide to add a note, an audio overview or a briefing doc. And with our question, we have a response from Notebook LM. So let us know if this was helpful and thanks for watching.